If you're shopping for a used Mazda CX-5 from this generation, which launched for model year 2013, then this video is just for you. I've got some tips and advice to keep in mind for your shopping and test driving process, which I hope will save you time and money and help you find a first class copy of a second hand CX-5. Shoppers tend to gravitate towards this model for its upscale cabin, advanced safety features, and promise of sporty but fuel efficient driving dynamics. Most used models will feature all-wheel drive. All units got a four-cylinder engine, and transmission choices included six-speed units and the driver's choice of manual or automatic, depending on the model in question. Start your test drive by assessing the ride quality. Many owners seem satisfied with this, but some have complained of a ride that's too stiff and sporty, especially on rougher roads. So test drivers are advised to visit the roughest road available on their pre-purchase test drive to check it out for themselves. Typically, higher grade models with larger wheels and therefore thinner tires will suffer a greater reduction in ride comfort on rougher roads than a model with smaller wheels and thicker tires, which tends to have more cushion. Next, check out the servicing, as CX-5 uses a direct injection engine, careful, continual, and consistent maintenance, as outlined in the owner's manual, is vital to fending off valve gunk buildup that can hurt engines like this over time. Make sure the vehicle's past owners have strictly followed all maintenance and servicing requirements to the letter, as outlined in the owner's manual under the severe use schedule. You'll want to see documentation confirming that all oil changes have been completed on time using only factory spec specified oil and filters. Ditto the spark plugs. Be sure the seller has only fueled the vehicle with high quality gasoline from a reputable retailer at each fill as well. Next, you'll do a little diagnostic test to coax some troublesome sounds from possibly worn out bushings in the rear suspension, which can be pricey to replace. Where appropriate, place the vehicle in drive and lock it into first gear. Then repeatedly stab the throttle lightly about one third to one half of the way down as the vehicle rolls along at a low speed. Do this several times, ideally in an empty parking lot, and listen carefully for unwanted clunking or banging noises from the rear end. If you hear any, you'll want to have a technician inspect before you buy. There could be a big repair bill in your future. Finally, a note regarding error messages or warning lights. Even a small problem with one or more sensors or switches in the CX-5 or a weak battery can cause a dramatic reaction from the vehicle, including an array of warning lights and numerous electronic malfunctions. If you notice this, have a tech technician investigate, possibly starting with the battery and charging system, as well as a diagnostic scan. These two steps can reveal and fix numerous annoying issues and prevent possible headaches. Well, that's it for this video, and for more information on this generation of used Mazda CX-5, including safety recalls and specs and more useful tips, click the link below for a full written used car buyer's guide on this machine. It's part of the largest collection of model-specific used car shopping tips on the entire internet over at autotrader.ca.